Are we free comics? I've been hanging out of my head for a few days now. They were miserable reading experiences. And even the idea of sitting down and thinking about them or trying to discuss them is depressing. I suppose I'll just have to rip the bandage off. This here is Tiny Titans Annual 5 from 1989. And it is bad and it is the worst kind of bad. I will start with some positives. I have two positives for this comic. One is at the back. We have Andy Book entries. We have one for Donatello here with art by Wallace Gromit. I really like this. I enjoyed reading it. Uh, good art too. It is showing all her different costumes up to this point. Then we also have two more Andy Book entries for some stuff from Fairyland that I didn't know anything about. And Donatello and Fairyland, they have now to deal with the main story. The other positive that I can bring to the table is that the comics opening scene, this isn't bad. It actually suckered us in and made us think this was Ganon to be good. The Tiny Titans, they are visiting the graves of Cyburns' parents when they are attacked by a bunch of mercenaries and they have to fight them off. So we have a nice introductory scene showing the members of the team in action. And then we have some character stuff with sideburns. And then it is all downhill. We have a flashback which is not denoted as being a flashback. Which sets up the bad guy. And it sets him up well enough. But everything they set up here are the elements that have nothing to do with what they do in this issue. We build up this all personal connection between Cyburns as dad and the bad guy. And this doesn't come into play anywhere. This isn't a story about Cyburns. And the character we set up here, this power hungry nuclear science test, is originally is irrelevant to this story. Because it is actually the bad guys for this are just... A cult, a leads that worship nuclear energy. They are not explained and some things about them like the members of the cult. They can transform into these super strong people in anachronistic costumes. It's not explained. Also not explained is the member of the Tiny Titans called Jerry Curl. I had no idea what was going on in this scene up here. It is Jerry Curl using his powers and I had to Google what his powers were to even understand this sequence. This story, it is nothing. It is a shambles. It goes nowhere. It's like when you see a child playing with action figures. They didn't really have an intricate plot or story to what they're doing. They just have one toy fight the other. And this is like that. At least when I was little, I didn't have many toys. So I always had to think up really detailed plots to keep the six action figures I had from getting boring. Our premise is that the Tiny Titans, they keep fighting these nuclear cult people who transform into superpowered people somehow. And the art jumps around in quality like it has a nervous tick. Sometimes it's good, like here Donatello looks all right. But then there are other times when it is just a mess. And here we have a few of them panels on these two pages. 
things are either not drawn very well or they are drawn from weird angles to maybe compensate for the artist drawn weird. We have a top-down team shot there. Our ear is a weird perspective of the team from behind. And then we have an odd profile close-up of Donatello. Yes, she does look like a porn star sucking a cock. I suppose that could be another positive if you want, actually. Uh, actually, I kind of fancy Donatello. I like her more than Wonder Woman. She is more interesting. Uh, there is some more awkward art. Really, I, I didn't recommend this story in the slightest. It is just a mess of characters running around and doing nothing meaningful. And do you remember that science test we had four pages establishing and giving backstory for? He is killed off panel. He is crucified as a sacrifice and all that stuff about him and Sideburns' as dad didn't matter. It's not even worth ganning in anymore, this. It is crap. I'm actually really happy now that I have finally reviewed this. You know what? I might have torn this up if it didn't have them Andy Book profiles at the back. Uh, no, the first scene. The first scene was fine. So I wouldn't tear this up. I'll just plead with anyone not to read this because it'll make you feel really miserable. And then you'll worry that you have just spent loads of money on Tiny Titans comics that might all be this bad. I'm giving this a 7 thumbs up. 